Good morning, modern steaders. Let's switch it up a little bit this Friday, and let's start off in the basement. We have some Icelandic chicken eggs inside the incubator. They are on day five. Woohoo! They're all doing good so far. There's not much we can do at this point. We'll wait to day eight. We'll wait till day eight, then we'll candle them, and we'll see if they're fertile and if they've started growing. Fingers crossed. The five Icelandic chicks that we hatched out, we sold them already. Those went like hotcakes. It was amazing. We got a brew of kombucha going. We're gonna have to do our second fermentation and bottle it up and flavor it pretty soon. So far we've done two different flavors. We've got a blueberry, which has been my favorite, and then the last one was cranberry. Nah, I'm not a cranberry fan anyways, but I really like the blueberry. The girls like the cranberry. Let's do this in order as we're walking by doing our chores. Right here's the pig pen garden. It's jamming. The cucumbers are doing amazing. We got a medium sized one right here. And we got a smaller one right there. We've been eating them up like crazy. Olivia's been having one a day with her lunch. She loves them. We had a good hard downpour of rain last night so it flattened out the garden in a couple of spots. But the plants seem to be doing good. They're growing like crazy. Look how dark green those leaves are. I think it's time to pick a couple of these zucchinis. They're monsters. Well, that one's not, but the one underneath is. Ready, watch this guy. This is what happens when you don't tend to your garden every day. That thing's a monster. And then I see another one over here. These will be good for grinding up and making zucchini breads with. Look at that one. I guess it's zucchini season here. Here are the hay bale gardens that are growing our purple cabbage and our purple broccoli. These plants are doing amazing. We haven't done anything to these plants. We've just transplanted them in soil blocks into the hay bales. We haven't watered them or done nothing. And look at that. What a thing of beauty. Here are the Icelandic chickens. If you guys didn't see the video the other day, we talked about it. We lost one of the Icelandic chickens. We came in here one day and she had just died for no rhyme or reason. We bought these a few months ago from a lady down the street. I really don't know how old they are. So we don't know if they were, if it was from old age or what it was. But Rufus is still doing good and so is the hen, that the other hen we got. That is Blackie that we got from salt in our coffee. We are about to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're not that far away. When I just looked, we were right around 9,000 subscribers. So I wanna thank you Modern Steaders for that. And once we do hit 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna do some giveaways. So if you guys wanna get in on that sooner, start sharing the videos, promoting the channel, and getting people to subscribe, and then I'll be doing the giveaways sooner than later. I'm not gonna tell you what the giveaways are, but it's gonna be fun. We have the stuff here and we really enjoy using it and I know you will too. Oh, we're also looking into making t-shirts. We have a few samples getting sent up to us. We wanna check and make sure the quality of the shirts and the sweatshirts are good and something that we're gonna wanna wear and that we're gonna wanna promote. They're still all locked up in New York City, waiting for the Modern Stetter update to be released. Good morning, little chickies. We gotta share the good and the bad. I was just coming in here to move the water bucket so I can move the tractor. And I was looking in the back, and it looks like they squashed one of them. Man, that's no fun. So I'm gonna say what happened to this little guy. So my guess is what happened to that little chicken is we got a really hard downpour of rain quick last night. And I'm gonna say it scared the chickens and they all huddled together and he got trampled. Ah, oh, it's terrible. 
terrible. Yes, I know. The reason why I think that is it happened last time with one of our chicks. I think it was the Bard Rock chicks that we had a while ago, or the Meat Birds. It was a while ago. We had a really bad rain, and then all of a sudden, that happened. So I think they get scared, they huddle together, and they don't know it. It's kind of like a stampede, and they just trample each other. It's not a good thing, but it happens, unfortunately, and it's part of homesteading and farming. So we like to put our feed on the grass and we put some in the bucket too, just so that way it doesn't get ruined right away if they don't eat it all. But we like putting it on the grass so that way it teaches our chickens this is where the food is. It comes from the ground. Start pecking and scratching. And this has worked really well for us. They're doing really good. I'm very happy with how they're growing and the health of them and just the quality of birds so far. If you have any ideas on what breed you think they are, leave them in the comments down below. The ducks are doing good. They're growing fast. They're almost all feathered out. I moved the chicken tractor the other day and these little guys caught a bunch of grasshoppers and I caught it on video. I'm gonna put a link to that video right here. That was fun watching that. When it comes to the barred rock pullets, we sold them on Saturday. We only have two left. We have two roosters that will harvest and put them in fr the freezer and then we have the silky hen that was broody and hatched them all out. And by selling all the barred rock pullets that we hatched out, we were able to pay for the feed for our meat birds. So we got our meat birds for free. That's awesome. Talk about sustainable. Sounds like the ducks and the chickens want to get out of New York City. Let's clean out their water and get the water going. Get the water going before we let them out. Let's open up this door. They want out. I hear them. The ducks are always first. Well, one of the ducks laid an egg. They didn't lay it in the water this time, just right next to it. It's nice and warm still. Let's see. Oh yeah. Plenty of water. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's right up there. See it? Yep. Plenty of water. Thanks for the rain. Hey, Mr. Biggs. <sighs> I'm telling you, we're trying to make a video here and we keep getting interrupted. We got lots of rain last night. Thank you. It filled up our water supply for New York City. Take an egg there, take an egg here. Oh, we got another egg here too. Nice and warm, freshly laid. We got some nice fresh eggs this morning. <laughs> Let's turn the fence back on. Just gonna throw it out there. On last week's Modern Shedder update, I talked about doing a newsletter. We got some response back, but if you guys didn't hear me talking about it last week, what are your thoughts on doing a Modern Shedder update? And then we're also thinking about throwing in a website with blog posts to go along with the videos. Let us know what you think about that. Leave it in the comments down below. The garden is doing amazing. Those onions, they're just looking awesome. Green beans, we ate those the other night. They are delicious. The strawberry plants are growing nicely. They're already spreading runners and wanting to sprout out new plants for us for next year. Our corn, whew, look at that. We're starting to get some ears. That's pretty exciting. 
Oh, we're gonna pick some more green beans. Look at the purple ones, they're beautiful. The green ones are doing good too. I'm getting excited to see what our carrots look like when we harvest them this fall. Those are beautiful. Our beets are doing all right. I'm happy with them. We got plenty of time for them to continue growing. There are new batches of beets. They're doing, eh. Next year, we're gonna have to spend a lot more time amending our soil with compost. We've been a little busy this year, so we haven't had a chance to get all the bedding and manure in the winter chicken coop composted and added to the garden. We'll have to make that a priority fall to add it to the soil so we can have a really good vegetable crop next year. I am very pleased with what we have going on here this year. So not all of your projects are gonna take off. You don't have enough time to dedicate yourself to everything. So some years, some things are gonna work better than others, but we've had an awesome year harvesting and growing meat. The tomatoes are doing awesome. We just put up a video the other day on what we're doing to save our tomatoes from blossom and rot. I'll put a link to that video right here. But they're looking beautiful so far, it's working. These tomatoes are nice. These ones are starting to ripen and I'm not seeing any blossom and rot anymore, which is amazing. The peppers are doing great. They're growing amazingly. Look at those. We're gonna have some peppers. Oh, we got a cauliflower going. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. And the cabbage is still doing good. It's getting nice and hard. Look at these heirloom tomatoes. We ate these the other day with BLTs. They were delicious. But as of right now, I'm not seeing any blossom and rot. Look at those, those are beautiful. In the video we made the other day, we did two different methods for emergency saving of your tomatoes from blossom and rot, and they both are working awesome. You'll have to check that out. I'm who pumped up. I don't know if you can tell, but that just means BLTs all summer long. And we love BLTs with pasture-raised bacon. I'm hungry, guys. I gotta go make a sandwich. I'm just joking. Let's finish the video. We got about an inch of rain last night. All in less than a half an hour. It's been crazy. We've been getting a lot of rain, but it's always in a short time span. It's just nuts this year. No wonder why we're getting blossom and rot. Our apple trees are loaded with apples and they are doing awesome. Not just some of them, but all of the trees on the property are. We're working on getting a apple cider press, whether it's to borrow or we're gonna buy one, we will have one here this fall. While we're right here, let's check out the off-grid outdoor kitchen. It's looking nice. Come inside and check it out. We got six by six beams for the upright post and for the beams that are going all the way across and carrying all the weight, we got six by eights. We are gonna have posts coming down. We just gotta figure out where we're gonna have them because we're gonna have some glass here. We're working on designing it so it's got a whole glass front and glass over here. This is southern exposure coming in right here so we wanna maximize all the light coming in. We got the back wall all boarded up. I'll go ahead and I'll put a link right here for our off-grid outdoor kitchen playlist. We've been having some awesome videos on that lately. We'll back up and show you kind of a far away view of what it looks like from this side. The back side's all sided. We were able to do it with full length boards all the way up. Hey, look at that, it's starting to rain. And my dog's acting like a spaz. You're crazy. While we're right here, let's do an update on this garden. We got the potato tower and the vegetables we're growing in spent hay bales from the winter chicken coop. They're doing awesome. I thought this was winter squash, but the color of it is not the color of buttercup squash. So it could be spaghetti squash, possibly. I'm just confused by the coloring. And the plants are just thriving in these spent hay bales from the winter chicken coop. We've been getting a lot of 
zucchini off of these plants. The potato plants are doing good. They haven't flowered out yet. Hopefully soon they will be. And then we can harvest some potatoes. We got a few zucchinis growing there and there. We haven't got a lot of summer squash this year. We haven't got any summer squash this year and that's why we haven't done a video yet on making the zucchini summer squash casserole that the Rhodes has really talked about. Oh my goodness, look at that huge zucchini. That thing's a monster. Yep. Let's finish our video off with everybody's favorite, the pigs! Good morning, girls. It's nice and muddy in here, huh? Yeah, we got about an inch of rain last night. You're gonna love that. Oh, thanks. The pigs are doing great. They are loving their automatic feeder. They're just loving that. They can get as much food as they want whenever they want. We're not gonna let them, we're not gonna let them out right now because we gotta go to work. And I don't like them out in the pasture when I'm not home. That's just an insecurity of myself. Did you hear that? The pig's blowing bubbles in the mud puddle. They're gonna love planting all that rainwater we got last night. We'll let them out when we get home. You got a dirty face. Yep, you do. I'm back. I couldn't leave the video without letting the pigs out. Everybody loves pigs on pasture. They're so much fun. And this afternoon, they're covered in mud. What's better than a dirty pig? Woohoo! Boy, you dirty. Go run. How often do you get to see run and frolic and happy pigs covered in mud? Ah, get away! They are doing a great job keeping this area all cleaned up. It's amazing that they're not eating the apples as much as they are right now. They are liking the blackberries. And believe it or not, if I have to cut down an apple branch and put it in here, they love the apple branches. I don't know why, but they'll choose those over the apples right now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And don't forget, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna do some giveaways. So share the video, help the channel grow. And we thank you for that. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.